All right, in the meantime, more headlines this evening, Brian and leaders in Lee County, Iowa, speaking out tonight about their decision to overwhelmingly reject what would have been the tri-state's first countywide mask mandate. WGEM's Blake Salmon has been following this story for a couple of days now. He is live in Lee County tonight with the details. Blake. It yeah, Dylan, that's right. That proposed mask mandate didn't even make it to a vote at this morning's Board of Supervisors meeting. Supervisor Rick Larkin motioned for the mandate to be approved, but he never picked up a second for that. And with that, it killed the mandate where it stood. Supervisors say they're not surprised about the outcome. There was so much pressure coming from the public opposing this. I was even getting phone calls at 7 o'clock this morning. Chairman Ron Fedler says with Lee County's numbers going in the right direction, there was no need for such a heavy handed measure. People still insisting that they wanted the freedom of choice and not to be mandated by law and that uh, I felt we should give the residents of Lee County more credit for, you know, in what they want. And but not everyone agrees. In the past, it's been 14, 15, uh, 16, uh, new cases and there has been some days when it's been down but when you have high numbers for the most part that means that the virus is out of control. Rick Larkin was the only supervisor in favor of the mandate. And we needed to do something, something to make it uh, to, to um, you know, help people so they don't come down with this virus. And uh, the easiest and most convenient way we had was uh, the mandatory mask thing. Local health officials say mandate or not, people should still be washing their hands, socially distancing, and wearing face masks. Supervisors say they agree. It doesn't hurt, you know, and um, it's not that difficult to wear a mask. I know it's inconvenient, but uh, this is uh, one thing that we can do and do pretty quickly. County law enforcement officials also spoke out against the mandate at this morning's meeting. Lee County Sheriff Stacy Weber says he doesn't believe that a mandate could be enforced, while County Attorney Ross Braden said that his office didn't have the manpower to deal with an abundance of cases that could stem from mandate enforcement cases. Live in Fort Madison, I'm Blake Salmon, WGEM News.